Christina, when I first spoke with you, I could tell that you were under a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety. You didn't even need to say anything. It was completely obvious. I thought hydrocodone would help. I just assumed that you'd be more responsible and you wouldn't abuse it. That's not the point. I didn't know okay, what you, I was taking. You had your say? All right, let me have mine. I couldn't write you a prescription without your mother's consent, and it didn't seem like you wanted her involved, so I just turned a little white lie and said that the pills were herbal supplements, and then you just pretended and went along and believed me. I didn't pretend anything. You're a doctor. I trusted you. Christina, you knew that they were pills. Why is this so hard for you to get? I didn't know what kind I was taking. But now that I think about it, when I went to order them online, I noticed that the pills didn't look the same. But you had an answer for that. You didn't even miss a beat. You went right into this whole story about how you ordered them from some medical supply company that only deals with doctors. Yeah, well, that's obviously fiction. Christina, you are a bright girl. You're on the wait list for Yale. You're not easily duped. Nobody can trick you into taking pills. You took them because you wanted to. Right? You went along with the euphemism because it was easier that way. That is not true. I told you that I didn't want drugs. Okay. All right, it's no problem. It's not a big deal. Okay, from here on out, you can just deal with your stress on your own. I know you got Thanks for waiting. Yeah, I was happy to. It gives me another chance to thank you for telling me about the pills. And I keep thinking about what a close call I had, and I didn't even do anything to cause it. Just goes to show that it's dangerous to trust the wrong person. Yeah, it can be. So how do you avoid it? You trust no one? Yeah, that's, that's one answer, yes. Seems like a sad way to live. Yeah, maybe there's a middle ground where you're wary, but not stupidly trusting. Look, Christina, I need to ask you something. Sure. And uh, no matter what your answer is, I won't be mad or upset, so just be honest with me. Of course. Did you get those pills yourself? Maybe slipped them out of your mom's medicine cabinet, or, you know, copped them from a friend? And maybe when I confronted you about it, did, did you panic and blame Lisa like you panicked and blamed me the night Kiefer beat you? I'm not lying about Lisa. You have to believe me. I realize you have every reason to doubt me. And I've told horrible lies about you, and I'll always be sorry for that. But I'm not lying. I didn't ask Lisa for prescription meds, and I didn't get them myself. No matter what she says, I had no idea I was taking anything other than herbal supplements. No matter what she says, you've spoken to her? Damn right. After I talked to you, I called her up here and confronted her. What'd she say? She tried to twist everything around and making it seem like we were talking in some drug code that I knew all along that she was giving me hydrocodone. But it's not true. Okay. I believe you. Sorry, I have a question here. It's okay. I understand. But you need to listen to me. Lisa Niles is not adorably screwy. She's lethal. Okay? She can just as easily kill you as drug you. So I need you to stay away from her. Don't call her. Don't confront her. If she makes any move to contact you, you call me immediately, okay? Are we clear? Clear. Thanks for believing in me. You have no idea how much this means. Looking for trouble, Dodger? Oh, you know me. Christina. Hi, Mr. Spencer. Hey, don't let that old fool run you off. Well, I know you're having problems with your dad. Well, if you leave now, it's not going to make him go away. Okay, then. Look, I just need you to understand the seriousness of this situation. Okay? You have to keep your distance. Got it. Okay. Now, have you stopped taking the pills? Right away. Any side effects? Not so far. Withdrawals? No. Okay, good. But there's no getting around the fact that you have been taking an addictive drug. Okay, and, and it, that affects people differently. Some people can quit cold turkey, others not so much. Now, if you feel the need to take a pill, don't feel bad about it, okay? It's not a sign of weakness, it's just your body having a chemical reaction. Okay, and promise me that you will call if you need anything. I promise. 
I really do have to go. But thanks again. You totally saved me. Anytime. That little girl is floating on the wings of love.